Hi, I'm Tom. This is Mina, and this is Kitty Help Desk. So today, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about uh, this product. This is called the Litter Genie. You've probably seen this um, either advertised online or um, at the store. I actually picked this one up uh, at my local Target. And I have a couple of these. One of them has a little bit of a, of a problem. And so this is a replacement. I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of show you an unboxing of this and kind of how it goes together and how it all works because I really didn't understand how it worked before I got one. Um, I guess it works a lot like uh, the Diaper Genie. I don't know if the same company makes the Diaper Genie. I don't have any babies, so <laughs> I don't know that side of it. But um, for cats, this has really been great for me. I really highly recommend this, although it's not perfect, but for what it does, I haven't found another product that does this quite as well. Um, I used to scoop into uh, like plastic sandwich bags and try to seal it up and put it in a container so I could dispose of it later. And that smelled terrible. And, and the, the plastic that those bags are made of is highly gas permeable. So um, what the folks that made this did is the plastic bag inserts are a seven layer special plastic, so they say. And, <laughs> And that plastic holds the odors in. And I can attest to the fact that it, that part of it really does work. But um, this is how it comes from the store. There is, a, I guess there's a Litter Genie Plus and a Litter Genie. Literally the only difference between the two is that the Litter Genie uh, sort of plastic bag insert that goes into this, the refill, this one is smaller um, is a smaller refill than is in the plus version. That's it. So I'm not sure why they marketed two versions, but if you ever see the plus version, like this one is a 14, it says includes standard refill, a 14 foot refill. And you'll see what that means in just a second. So um, really this is how it comes. Um, I'm gonna take this cardboard thing off here. Set that off to the side. And so this is, what you get and it's just a lid and a and an opening and then this this little piece is spring loaded and it slides out this piece pushes in and then you can lift this um, inside here is a couple of things this is the the refill um, and some instructions. So this is really all there is to it. There is a spring loaded door here and when it's closed and you have the refill in it, um, you put the waste in here, you can close it, open this, it falls down into the bag into the bottom and then when this slides shut, it seals the plastic at the top so that the odor doesn't get out the top of the plastic bag. And like I said, that part of it works really, really well. Um, these pieces, this is a, a scoop holder, so you get a litter box scoop, which is actually pretty good. This one has, on the both of the ones I have, this one has lasted quite well. Um, it's got little holes here, and you can choose if you wanna put the, the holder on the left side or on the right side. I always put mine on the right side because I'm right-handed. You just hook that in there. That's ready to go. Um, there's also a cutter here, which I don't know if you can see, there's a little pair of scissors drawn on top of it. Um, there's just a little blade, a little razor blade inside there so that when you're pulling the bags out and you need to cut it off, you just slide it through there. Really convenient and it stays sharp enough. Um, so that goes together like that. Open this up. I'll show you like this. This piece opens, and now you just got the pull, the pull drawer thing. So this is the refill, and basically what's inside this is 
a long, 14 foot long tube of plastic, um, like bag material. So you pull this, this is disposed of, which eh, plastic. Um, you pull the bag out around the edge of this, you push it down through there, and then once you get it started, you want to tie it off as close to the bottom as you can, because if you don't, you're just wasting plastic. Um, I kind of make a loop out of it. Do a quick knot. Make sure everything's pulled through and then try to slide it down to the very bottom of it. So now what you have is a, a place to deposit the waste. And that just goes in here. This locks in around it. And now, if I pull this out, I can let push that down into the bottom. I don't push it all the way down though, because as you put the more waste in there, the weight of it usually is gonna, gonna push it down. Um, so all you do when you're using it is you scoop your waste, you put it in, you pull this out, let it fall down into the bottom, and then you let that slide back and you close it. And that's really, hmm, this one doesn't wanna close quite right. Oh, it's cause that's not down. Um, that's really all there is to it. There we go. And, and then the, the scoop stores on the side like that. So when you get ready to empty it, you're gonna have a bag filled with poops. You're gonna take it, you're gonna pull it through this cutter to cut it off, leave, pull enough excess so that you can then tie it off and then you're gonna have a big bag of litter and poop and pee all ready to go to the trash and you're not really going to smell it, which is the whole idea of this. So I like most everything about this. I like that it, looks like a trash can, so it's not really super ugly or anything. I like that it is small enough of a footprint that it can sit next to each litter box. I have two litter boxes and, and two of these. Um, I like that it's been durable enough that it has held up for at least three years that I've had them, um, maybe longer than that, maybe four years. Um, so all of those are good things. What don't I like? I'm not real crazy about how flimsy this plastic sort of is and how it doesn't always want to line up with these edges because as you kind of move it, it all kind of wants to torque. This one, I will say, feels like it's a little bit heavier plastic than the other two that I have. So maybe they, maybe they vary as they're making them, but you see this, like it's not going together. It's because it's not lining up properly because it's not rigid enough and it sort of wants to wobble a little bit. And you know, that sounds like a nitpick, but when you're doing this, messing with these things like four times a day, five times a day, six times a day, it starts to get on your nerves a little bit when you can't get it to operate the way you want it to. The other thing is that it really should be taller because with a cat <laughs> like Lucy, who is now down to, finally down to, I think around 16 and a half pounds, um, she generates a lot of urine each day. She loves to drink from her water fountain. Now, some cats, you do want to be aware that if your cat is drinking an excess amount of water or outputting an excess amount of urine, that they could be diabetic. But I know for a fact that Lucy really has always done that and she just really likes drinking water out of her water fountain. So um, she generates enormous clumps of, of pee <laughs> that are in a litter box that will fill this up. I mean, I generally have to take the bags out of these maybe once a week, which if it were just a little larger, 
that would be easier. Now, I, I do understand there's a compromise that if it were larger and had more in it, that it would become heavier to deal with and all that. So maybe, you know, for some people that wouldn't be great. But um, I do have that issue. The other issue is the way this sort of locks up. There's a little ridge up here that sort of holds this. And litter always goes where you don't want it to go. So on this, it tends to get up here along this little crease and this doesn't want to go all the way up. So it ends up falling back down when you're using it. Um, the other thing is the hinge is just a metal rod that runs through here and it tends to want to sneak out the one end over time and you have to push it back in. Not a big deal, but seems like something that it would be easy enough to fix by sort of putting a cap on the end of that. Um, this was, I, I want to say $16.99. I think that's right. If that's wrong, I'll put what it, the correct price is on the screen now. Um, and that comes with the refill and everything. So that's really a, a decent price for something like this. Um, the refills are really where you, you start to spend a lot of money. Uh, although they, they last a, a decent enough amount of time. And I will say I have tried just about every alternative refill that's out there on the market. Uh, Target makes one under their Up and Up brand. Um, there's a, I think it's called Firoc or something that's on, Am Amazon has a bunch of Chinese sort of uh, knockoff plastic bag inserts. Don't buy those. They just aren't good. The, the plastic is not totally sealed and you're gonna smell it. I just tell you from experience. The only two that I've used that I would suggest you, you use with this are the original Litter Genie refills and the Target Up and Up brand refills. Both of those are really good. So, and they're both easily available, like just about um, every town has a Target these days. So, um, I really, I really like this, this product. Um, I would hope that they will continue to sort of develop it. Maybe they won't. You know, nobody wants to sink R&D costs into anything much these days and make it any better. But it could be slightly better. But as it is, I think it's a fairly well-designed product. And um, I think if you're dealing with litter box waste and, and the smell of that in your home and you, you just really have had enough of it, I think this is a really pretty good solution. So for me, this is recommended. And um, I, I think uh, you really ought to try it and, and see if you like it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And um, please like and subscribe if you like what I do here. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.